The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. Brought to you by Nadex. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien, Tommy O'Brien, and Daryl Martin. Welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we have the Dow Industrials uh, up 108. NASDAQ's up 74. S&Ps are up 15. You have the gold contract down $6.80 at 12.49.70. We have silver down 13 cents, $16.52. You get platinum down seven, nine twenty-two an ounce. Copper's up two pennies at uh, two fifty-eight a pound. Light sweet crude up sixteen cents, forty-four dollars ninety cents a barrel. Light sweet crude continues to have a tough time uh, yeah. with with price under that forty-five dollars. Right. Um, the bonds, folks. Uh, you have the uh, ten-year down five ticks, one twenty-six twenty-four. Thirty-year up one at one fifty-six twenty-nine. And good old King Dollar up a couple hundred ticks at 97.06. Uh, the euro's at 111 to the U.S. dollar. Yen is at 111.5 to the U.S. dollar. Uh, bottom line is that Dow Industrials at another new all-time high. Yes, it is. <laughs> I think the S&P is close. Or it's oh, right it there probably too. is, too. Let's go take a look at it. And bottom line is that, uh, yeah, there What's she the is. High okay, level? so Maybe it's close. Hold on. What is that high? 24.46.20. Okay, and this is so 24, 45, 50. But you know what's going on here too? This cash S&P, I believe the cash S&P that we're looking at right now uh, may, well, actually it doesn't say, um, no it is, it's, um, uh, it's behind. This is not live, the okay. cash S&P. So it's 10, so it's, so it's uh, 10 minutes behind. So that means that more than likely we are going to be we'll at a new all-time high uh, inside the S&P also. Uh, and what you're going to see out here, uh, this will be intriguing because, okay, let's go take a look at the futures first. And folks, if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, great time to do it. Come over to our website at tfnn.com. You'll see the banner on the top of the website or on the side. You can hit that banner. Bring up the... Nadex platform, they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account. You can see how these defined option contracts trade. Well, this is, oh, I know what's going on. One second, I got the wrong contract. <laughs> I was going to say that that doesn't look like it's a new, yeah, there yeah. we go. It's, so the futures are at an all time high right now. Uh, 24, we've hit 24.37.75, and the last high that was generated, let's see, so that's the ninth, is what, 24.43.50. Yeah, 24, 43, 25. So that's an all-time yep. high right now. So bottom line is that we'll see, number one, can it, can it handle it? And number two, um, can it get away from it? You know, if it can get a clean break away from it. If we uh, look inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Uh, strength, uh, good old Apple. Apple uh, Apple's putting 23 positive points into the Dow. Goldman's putting 21, Boeing's putting 17, J.P. Morgan's putting 11, United Technologies putting 11, taking away from it, Chevron's taking four away, Travelers four, Exxon three, inside the NDX 100. You have uh, JD.com, look at that, 5%. Yeah. 5%. Uh, this is, I don't know how to pronounce this. this yeah. This is a... Mercado Libre. Yeah, and so this is a one of the largest online trading sites in Latin America. Okay. And this this stock is interesting, man. When this stock starts making a move, man, it makes a move. I've, I've never traded this stock, but look at this. Yeah. If you bring this back, folks, that's only 2016. Went from 84. Mercado Libre. Yeah. And we put this on. This is Libre. Is Libre Lime? Libre Lime? I don't know. The Cuba Libre is rum and coke with a lime. Oh, I should know that. <laughs> that's, 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 uh, so let's see. Uh, Micron Tech. Uh, this is the inside the strength inside the index 100. This is Micron Tech is up three percent. NetEase is up two point nine. Now taken away from it, Costco is still taking a hit. That's down another two percent. Walmart's down today as well, so that's interesting. Yeah. So look at that hit. 
So, you know, Amazon makes a run for Whole Foods on Friday. Costco goes from $181 to 163 in two days. Hey, because what happened, right? I left your place yesterday for Father's Day. Yeah. And you had like five, oh, five packages this, sitting on your doorstep that you didn't realize were there that were paper towels. This is so funny, folks. And you used to get those at Costco, I'm sure. Right. So All they, the time. There you go. Right. Right. There's, there's no doubt. And we'll, that's... That's Amazon, Amazon folks. Right. Bottom line, delivery on Sunday. They don't even, you know, yeah. you walk outside, everything's there. Yeah, five yeah. huge boxes of paper towels right. and maybe there's toilet paper Just or something. All, but, all the stuff know, the, that... The stuff you'd buy at Costco. That's right, that, that I always did. Just, you know, big box, big item, right. in bulk. Right, then you never get fit in the car. Non-perishable, non you know, they're just household right. items. Toilet paper, you right. know, the, the cleaning agents. Sure. You just leave them in there, right? And then all of right. a sudden... So just, yeah. And you know what's so cool about that? So this is what happens to that, too, is that when you always have know that you have enough, if they have them in Publix and I see them for sale because they go on sale, I'll buy those, too. Sure. Just throw yeah. them in there because yeah. it's like, but then you just wait until they're, they're totally for sale. I hear you. You know, yeah. crazy. Yep. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's get over and take a look at that gold market. So GC Q6, Q7. Um, so gold out here. Got down to 12.48, and you stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back, folks. Uh, we'll be talking about uh, this gold market because uh, right now uh, this is where gold has to save itself. 12.50. Yeah, and it's it's yeah. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow right now is up 102. Nasdaq's up 71. S&Ps are up 15. We're gonna be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. We take your phone calls now. now.
toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Folks, the Dow right now is up by 97. You get the Nasdaq up 70. S&Ps are up uh, 15 and a half. Uh, gold is down 680 at 12.4960. If we do come over and we take a look at this uh, Nadex platform, folks, if you haven't test drive it, great time to test drive it. Uh, I'm in a little bit of trouble out here this morning. You got three trades going on, I yeah, see. Yeah, I'm in definitely in a little bit of trouble out here this morning. So we'll go through the gold one first. So on one of the... The spreads, folks, you get 1250 to 1300 This is And we're the, looking at the June contract here, just because yes. I think you pulled up a different contract on, on the Bloomberg platform. Maybe? Just because this one's at 1249.70? No, maybe maybe you were on June. Were you? Um, you want to take a peek? Yeah. Which contract no, G here? GCQ. No, I, I'm, not, I'm definitely not in June because... Right. Oh. Yeah, GCQ. Here you go, August. All right. Yeah. Okay. So they their con the contracts are actually at about the same price, twelve forty nine eighty, even though it's August and yeah. Nadex is trading off the June contract. And that that's going to be interesting too, because that gold August. But see, that's interesting. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it's, it's the oh, August no, you're contract. Correct. You're right, correct. You're right. correct. Thanks. Yeah. Sorry, I get confused by seeing June here. That was getting that's me just, worried. <laughs> that's just today's date. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. okay. Okay, so the the bottom of the of the spread, folks, is twelve fifty. So the it looks like you got in at an average price of twelve fifty three thirty eight. Right, and that's when it was traded about twelve fifty one fifty. Okay, um, sure. So it's dropped maybe like two dollars. Yeah. Since then, well, it actually um, got, it, it and it did it get it it got and it came back up. It actually got trashed right after I actually okay. bought them. Okay. Um, and you can see, you know, it's right at the bottom of the box, but of course there's some premium in here. You could get out for um, $14 per Now, contract. this is really important. You put up 30, what, $33.80? Yeah, it wasn't bad for what the risk versus reward was. Yeah, yeah. But, so this is really intriguing right here because what happens, folks, is that I actually do have quite a bit of money up for, for a total loss. Sure, 38 you know? per contract. We're right. looking at five contracts. Right. Um, about $189. Yeah. Um, it looks like what's there. Where if it goes to 130, I lose it all. Correct. And if it doesn't, I'm almost getting back. Well, I'm getting back. I mean, right now, yeah. Let's. Yeah. You can even pull it up, right? You'd be selling the five. Right. You're taking back sixty dollars. Right. Which and the co percentage-wise, in the context, it's, that is that. That's yeah. like almost a third back. You know. I know. In, yeah. I know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And and what happens with you know many of these? I'm normally at least going for a one to three. Sometimes a one to four, one to five. Sure. And these and, are the daily. Still one thirty right. is in the dailies for gold. Right. Yeah. You know. So we'll see where that shakes out. Let's go okay. to Bloomberg for a second because I just want to show you something. As we were just coming out of the break, which is pretty cool. King Dollar again, okay, is having a tough time once again. This is like a just, King Dollar is the only thing that really, is, well, one of the things that's been saving me. <laughs> uh, it ended up having a hard time on Friday again. Um, you know, so we'll see where this goes. We have a high out here today of 97.08. Uh, you're at 97.03. You know, it's not huge, but it is huge in the context of how it, just continued. It can't. It can't hold. Watch. I'll show you what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the 97.275 area, folks, and that's where last week, you know, this thing should have been able to hold it. Oh, I got to bring a different contract up. I got to bring. Okay. It but I'll show you with the 275. 90. It's May 18th, I think. It's right there. So, and this contract here, um, that's interesting. Is so, in th this contract here, it's going to be 97.130, and the reason being is that. Different contracts. I mean, going forward, yes. I can show it to you in the older contract, and so you can see what I'm looking at. And what what I was looking at there is that that's where you had the downdraft with volume, and it just couldn't hold. Same day, that's the 18th. There's the 90, 97, yep. 275. So it couldn't hold there last week. It, it and it you know got a good bit off the bottom. That was Wednesday, the Fed day. 
fell apart the next day. Well, the next day went up and then just couldn't handle it. So, you know, we'll see how this shakes out coming into the close out here today. What we did do uh, intraday on Friday is that you got some big volume uh, in these indices. Uh, if we go take a look at the, and that, that'll be expected with option expiration. Sure. Um, but the way that I've always seen it, that you, if you get big volume and, you know, you're, you're sideways to lower, bottom line, that's where it wants to go. So we'll see how this uh, shakes out today with uh, 62.37 inside the NASDAQ composite. We'll see what kind of volume it has uh, as it goes into Wednesday, because that's what it looks like it wants to test out here. Um, you got, we don't have uh, any big deals happening this week, I don't think. We're right, okay. in, the, right in the middle of the um, month. So it's not like window dressing is starting. Right. Earnings is not starting. The real question is going to be what moves the market. Uh, what's moving the market out here today? So let's see what's happening with Apple. Yeah. Um, you know, it's only up three dollars, but <laughs> it's it's moving. Um, oh, look at this! Oh, this is going to be. I got to see this. This is good. So. Oh, Amazon India. Oh. I didn't see it. Didn't say, I didn't either, yeah. It didn't say that in the headlines. The headline said Amazon offers massive discounts on Apple, iPhone, and Samsung. Now it says Amazon India is offering bumper discounts on purchase of smartphones before the GST comes into effect from July. Oh, GST. I wonder what that is. It must be a tax or something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But this is all about India. Yes. I wonder if that's the only thing that's moving iPhone. That'd be pretty wild. I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think, was, you know, um, there's some kind of conference with the tech CEOs with the president today. So oh. maybe that in itself where I know like, Tim Cook, Be Bezos is going to be there, I believe. Let's see. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> they are. I'm sure they're all going to get along. Yeah. Hey, they all gonna, I'm sure they're all going to want to push for their own agenda, whatever that is, you know? That's... If you and, can get a seat at the table, it's and, usually... And part of that own agenda is definitely bringing back all that cash that they have overseas. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume uh, equities out here. You have... Uh, Apple's the big one. That's up three bucks. You got uh, Whole Foods up 64 cents. So that's trading. Whole Foods right now is trading over the, the, the takeout price. We're at 43.32. Uh, I believe what $42. What is see a rival bid? What is breaking... Oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's not breaking news. A rival bid would be a stretch. Yeah, they're, they're, they're I suspect, you know, there was... There you go, back. There was a, uh, you get AK Steel up uh, 22 cents. Uh, NVIDIA is up four bucks. You get Facebook up two. Uh, Target is down 143. TGT, this is, you know, there was a, there was a, <laughs> Target, poor Target. There was a great article, we were talking about this yesterday. Um, that I read, it was like a satirical article about yeah. uh, Bezos. Sure. Um, it was really a good one, though, folks. And what it was is that number one, how much, how many risk he's taken, how much money he's actually lost making money, and then that what is the eventual goal is is to have us all chipped. That we will with that that he he'll know all our thoughts. He'll know what we want. And bottom line is that virtually we'll have it. He'll just. Pay, we'll pay a fee just to have Hope it stays sad. And nothing gets delivered. Yeah. <laughs> you stay right there. Tommy and I are coming right back. <laughs> Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender.
If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 108. You get the NASDAQ up 75. S&Ps are up uh, 16. We go over and we take a look at the uh, GDX, which is the Market Vector Gold Miners Trust. Uh, you know, we'll see whether this baby can catch a bid out here today. Uh, bottom line, this is going to be a big week for the, uh, the equities. Uh, they came down hard last week when Wednesday came about. You know, you went from 2342 to 22. Now you get under those levels in that light of all, and we'll see whether they can get this rejection going uh, out here this morning. Sure. You know, you got the 2185, you're 22. This would have to get back inside uh, the 2209, which is that down day. And the, the tough thing to, to look at here, folks, is that it's like, okay, so on a weekly, on, on the daily, it's like you can make the case that, okay, is it pushing into the high or pushing into the low? And it would have to be, to me, it would have to be a push into the low because you've gone into this lowest swing point from uh, the 21st. Now, when you put this on the weekly, this is where it gets kind of dangerous inside the equity, the gold and silver equity market. Because the differential would be, it's more of a toss-up as to push it into the high or the low because it didn't really get a swing because it's going into this low one. So what I want to see here this week is that I... I got it on the open, meaning we got a lower price. Now I need a rejection of price with light of volume because the lowest swing point is from May 5th. Sure. You know, the bottom of that is 2089, the top is 22828. So this week, what you're looking for, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for a close over 2228 with light of volume, you know. And then because what we did have, you know, those goals got hit big last week. But what we did have is that you had a few of them, a lot of them actually, that didn't make it to the lowest swing point. Uh, Dow just caught another bit of another 20 bucks. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. Uh, uh, 120. Yeah. We were just at 100, folks. Now you're at a buck 20. Uh, and I suspect we'll see whether, you know, you get Apple. Yeah, Apple, Apple, Apple's pushing the down, pushing the Nasdaq. Yeah, especially because Apple's such an expensive stock yep. already to be up four points. That's a big one. Right, and Goldman's number two out here. Uh, yeah, gold, another big move. Right. Yeah. So up Goldman's up uh, three ninety one, three dollars ninety one cents here, two twenty five. Your last swing point out here is 
226.94. Let's go look at JP Morgan, JPM. Okay, so this is going to be an important day for JP Morgan. So this is what you have. The swing point on JP Morgan is 87.85. You're over it. Um, it's 12.5 million versus right now three. So it looks like it's going to get the volume. The real key is going to be can it get over, can it stay over there with volume? Now it's still going into a, the downdraft from the 21st, but that'd have to give up quite a bit. So let's go to the XLF. And the XLF's going after its swing too. So there's your, there's your benchmarks. 2455. You're at 2456. So Monday coming uh, into the middle of summer trading, there's going to be some action. Look at the Dow just. <laughs> so we're going to have some volatility out here, folks. This 20 that... points one way and the other, right? It did. It yeah. just exactly. Um, just. And what's interesting is we're coming into the fourth, right? No, that's two weeks away? Yeah. I'm ahead of myself. Okay. But what does happen here, let, let's look at that calendar for a second because... I can't really pull that over. Okay, so if, if you pull the time of day calendar or something, yeah. yeah. Because what we are going to have here, you know, the market's at highs. The market normally likes to run into a high and celebrate the July 4th. <laughs> Not, okay. I don't know how the market knows that it's July 4th, but bottom yeah. line is it likes to do that. So we're here, let me just zoom in a little bit. Here. We're the 19th today? We are the 19th today. Okay. So we have two weeks, and when you come into the 4th, the 4th actually falls oh, on yeah, a Tuesday. Yeah. The market's open a half day on that Monday. Oh, is it? It is. Okay. So that's going to be a relatively slow half day. Yeah. With it being almost a four-day weekend. Okay. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. That's awesome. So that's going to point out. So we have two weeks so until then. But you get two. You get two weeks of trading. Two that's, weeks. Yeah. That's, so that's a long time. time. Right. That's a long time, actually. So there's there's going to be there's going to be action there. There's there's going to be action. So let's see what else uh, we have going on here. Yeah. We went over the gold trade. Right. Here is the Nasdaq. Looks like you have a couple. Yeah. The eleven o'clock's burnt. I got eleven o'clock ten pointer. Okay. So this one you made it nine twenty eight. Yeah. And it looks like that one is out of the money completely at this point, right? We're trading at 57.66, so you right. need about 30 points till you're in it. And then this one, you're just at the top of the box, it looks like, and you have till noon. So an hour and a half, and this right. one is 57.65 to 57.55. Right now, you're right at the top of the box, so there's about 3 to 3.50, $3, 3.5 points right. of value right now in there. Now, I, these 10 pointers, folks, okay, um, two hour 10 pointers, I, with the, the nice volatile market that we've had, as we said last week, they do trade like binaries. Yeah, as in 10 points in the NASDAQ 100 can be in the final minute of the contract. You it, can go from full can. value of right. 10 points or $100 for the contract to no value. Right, right, right. Yeah. And most of the time, what I've noticed is this, and I'm happy, I'm, well, I'm, I'm good with it, meaning trading it. Most of the time, even if it's above the box, like let, let's say the last three or four days, if it's above the box, even by about four or five points, you're paying about seven points, you know, for the seven points inside the NASDAQ. I'm paying four above it plus sure. three inside. It, sure. You yes. know, which isn't bad. No. You know, um, you know no. because you, you, you can get the full amount. I've got the full, full amount quite a few times. Yeah. Versus... As in, you're selling it almost basically seven points away from the market. That's, and that's correct. Kind of your premium. That's right, correct. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know. So, um, you know, we'll see where the whole baby shakes out. What, what I like this morning. What I really liked, and this is where folks, you know, Tommy and I talk about test driving this program a lot, meaning the Nadex platform. What I didn't do, because we've been so volatile, I used to like the eighty-point spreads, right? Yes. But I didn't want to do the 80-point spread because I felt, you know what, they're going to jam this market. So if you wait for the two-hour ones, you let the jam happen. If it happens, sure. you're, you're much better off because you're, you lost the amount of money that you can lose goes down dramatically. Yes, yeah, small you time, know? right. It, and it's just sitting there waiting, and sure enough, they jammed it again. So I said, okay, you know. So it's not like you're losing a trade. You're just sitting there waiting for a jam. You know, if you're a bear, you're waiting for a jam the other way, and then you buy it. I'm a bull, you know, well... No, if you're a bull, you're waiting for a jam the right. other way, and then you buy it. Versus yeah. a bear, you're waiting for the jam top side, and you buy it. Sure. So, yep. we'll see where that whole baby... Uh, yeah, we're getting a little bit of a move now. I mean, we're yep. as high as 
57.72, so we're 11 points off that high already. Right. And once it gets going. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you have an hour and 22 minutes. That's a long time. It is. In the NASDAQ 100 when, you know, three points up and you have a max loss situation and eight points down, you have a max profitable situation. Right. That's what you're talking about. Right, yeah. right. Yeah. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Now I just need the uh, dollar index to help me inside the uh, gold market. Uh, that's, that's what's going on there. Let's go take a look at the, uh, let's go take a look at Walmart, see where Walmart stands because, yeah, just Walmart sideways. So maybe they'll buy Whole Foods instead. They're, they, they're, I'm sure they're talking about it. Oh, they're, they're these, this, this, these grocery people, man, they're all sitting there like, you gotta be kidding me. They never thought that Walmart could get into their business because it was such a small margin business. So they didn't think Amazon That's what, either at the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. And if you haven't test drove the Nadex platform, come over to our website at TFNN. You can hit the banner, bring up the platform, they'll put $25,000 of paper money into your account, and uh, you can uh, walk along with us as we trade these defined option contracts. And don't forget, uh, what happens, of course, on a Monday is that you can trade these on a weekly basis. And uh, weeklies, let, let's bring up a, sure. a, you know, it's kind of intriguing here. So you're at all-time highs. 
uh, inside the S&P. So let's bring up an S&P weekly. Right, going into indices, yeah. binaries, S&P 500 weekly. Here's the whole list of them. We're trading, looking at September contract, 24.47. Yeah. Here's gonna be the middle. You can see the bid offer straddling the $50. Right. We'll pull up the chart. Okay. And we'll get some of these binaries along the right side. Here we go. So expiration, four days, five hours, 31 minutes. 22 seconds. <laughs> That's pretty go, good, right? I know. Uh, to the upside, 24.59, so you're looking at about 13 points, okay. almost half a percent, maybe 0.6 percent. Yeah. Risking 27 to make 72. That's pretty cool. Um, and mm -hmm. on the flip side, about 11 or 12 points down, 0.5 percent. Look at that. You're looking at risking 30. To make 60. Yeah. Yeah. So that, you know, it, what's pretty cool here, whether you're a bull or a bear, that was, those are pretty good setups, man. Yeah. You know, a after the aspect that you already moved. Can you go to the VIX, pull up the VIX? Yeah. And this will be why they're such good setups. Right. Because the VIX is at like 10, I think. 10, yeah, 20. there you go. Yeah. Yeah, so the, the premium's low. They exactly. Don't, you don't expect much more movement after this, right? Right, and even, you know, looking, taking things one step further, 2471, you're only talking about realistically a 1% move over the entire week in your direction. You're risking right. 12, um, you know, and same thing, about 23 points to the downside, risking a similar 1350 right now. Um, and you could trade both of these, you know, doing the similar trade that we make on oil and on natural gas, where yeah. you're, you're buying 24.71, you're selling 24.23, you're risking 12.50 plus 13.50, about 25 or 26. And if you get a 1% move in either way, you expire for 100. That's, those and those you can trade out as well. Yeah, right? that's for pretty the entire cool. five right. days. Right. Just looking for some volatility. That, is, yep, no doubt. And especially when the VIX is at 10, that might make sense. You know, as that crept up and you're yes. risking 50 or 60 out of the 100, but when you're risking only 25 or 30 for both sides of a 1% move for the week, that could be an attractive trade. And it's Monday morning at 9.30 in it, the morning. Exactly. Right. 10.30. 10.30. One, one extra hour is gone. Yeah. Right? Right. It's, no, I'm being sarcastic it. as in no, like, no, at I, the beginning of the week. You no, know, it's, that's for it. Sure. You've lost one hour of the market's activity. Yeah, pretty right, pretty amazing. Let's go over and take a look at the uh, oil market. So the sure. XCRB uh, and oil, so we have, look at natural gas. Actually, natural gas is down 4%, folks. It's under 3 bucks. Let's just look at that first. Yeah, definitely. I happen to recall, where were we? Were we at, I was just going to say, were we at 295 before that big move on Thursday? And yep. we got... I just we're already under that level. Exactly. We went 295 yeah. to 308. Yep. Friday got to 310. Now you're going right after the low of 291. It hit 290 today. And you get 45,000 contracts. And bottom line is that uh, this this looks like a... This 291 is crucial, man. Oof. Dangerous. Dangerous. Now, natural... Uh, the oil market. So uh, you got oil trading... 4518 on this contract. So this is the August contract. Oh, this is this is in trouble. So you got oil folks. You know, you, you push down Friday with some volume. You're going up into the downdraft from last week with anemic volume. So we'll see. You're going into 460,000 contracts with the 290 right now, which isn't bad, but oil itself, they it trades quite a bit in the morning. Yeah, look at this. You're going, you're going into some viciousness. Hey, we'll see whether it can. It's going to try that 45.28 once again. That's what it looks like. Both times it went up there. So you, you went up there with some volume. You just popped with some volume, but you're going into man. There's a seller that's laying there like that's big. Yeah, that was quite a day. That's big and bad. It's a big bad seller. That was the inventory big, day, I believe. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, and. Uh, if we go take a look at the XLE in correlation with that. That's still having a hard time getting off the lows, you know? Yeah. That had a hard time going into this May 4th downdraft. I mean, if oil it, starts creeping around $40, that'll be some serious trouble for those energy it, stocks. There's no doubt, man. And, you know, it's amazing here, folks, is that it looked that, you know, 
on the, let's see, on the 8th and 9th of June, you know, that was a nice little sign of strength, yep. backs in, you know, but guess what? It's kind of, it couldn't make it by this uh, May 4th day, which is a big number. It's almost like what the dollar has done. It's intriguing here because the dollar looks just like, the dollar index looks like oil. I mean, it's been a one-way trade since mm, January 3rd. Okay. You know, well, XLE was at 76, you're at 66. Sure. You know, we go over and we take a look at the the dollar index, you know, dollar index 103, you're at 97. You know, it's having a tough time getting out of here. So yeah. the, uh, oh, that, that gold contract is getting closer for me. It finally hit that 150. Let's go take a look at silver S I N seven. Uh, no, thank what, you. What is it? Yeah. Twelve fifty. Thank God, twelve fifty, not eleven fifty. Uh, silver needs to catch a bit, also, folks. Silver is sixteen fifty three. Um, silver is a different setup, and it has for a while, but it's coming into to strength. It had some strength here. So sixteen forty three was the number you want to see silver hold. Isn't it amazing how silver can move around like that? Yeah. Seventeen seventy. Two weeks ago, 1653. Imagine if you own a mine like, <laughs> and you do millions of ounces, yeah. millions. So I'm sure, you'd have the price of silver up in your office if you, that was the case. Totally. Because, you, you're, you're looking at millions of ounces and one dollar, like either make or lose a million dollars. Because they get, yeah, you have to get used to it after a certain point. Yeah, it's the business you're in, right? Yeah, it's definitely a business you're in. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Let's go uh, take a look at the high flyers out here inside the NDX. So you get Facebook up 250. You get Google up $19. They just don't stop, man. Amazon up $13. So Amazon, Opened did Amazon a higher, make an all-time high again today? It did. Look at this. So Amazon, folks, yep. The all-time intraday high was 116.50. Jeez, it opened at it and then just went straight down 1,017. Look at that, man. Yeah, yeah 1,017. They wanted to bid it up. How's that? They did bid it up. They did bid it up. Uh, Microsoft. Oh, this is, okay, so Microsoft has already failed. This would be interesting watching this shake out, folks. This is important. This is why you want to pull these numbers up. Microsoft got into uh, 70. 94, which is at the 7110, but it's sold right off from them. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. The Dow's up 103. Nasdaq's up 75. S&P's are up 16. We're going to be right back. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A Share Bull and Bear ETFs. China A Shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com.
TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the global market pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour, following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. <laughs> Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow Industrials right now up 102. You get the Nasdaq up 73. S&Ps are up 15. Percentage-wise out here, what you have, you have the Dow up 4 tenths of 1%. S&Ps up um, 7 tenths. Nasdaq up 1.1. And the Nasdaq, of course, uh, took a much larger hit. Well, it was the only one that did take a hit on that Huge. downdraft. Yeah. 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 Um, so it's and still quite off those highs, whereas the S&P and, yeah, right new at, highs. Right? Exactly. Dow, yeah. Yes. So... Here's the number, folks. Uh, in the composite, it's 62.37. We hit 62.31. You go into the uh, 14th, and if we take a look at the 14th, what you're looking at is this. The volume on the 14th on the way down was 1.9 billion. Um, and we'll see uh, what kind of volume we get uh, on this test out here today. You know, right now, you get 623 million, and that actually is a lot of volume for this time of day in the morning. Sure, not okay. even 11 o'clock. No, yeah. okay, so the number you're looking for, if you get the test on like 1.85, 1.9, that's saying, hey, it's it can test it again. If we get that, if this volume, now what I really like about Excuse when you get volume early like this, if that volume drops off dramatically and we get like 1.8 or 1.75, that's gonna be like, okay, it doesn't have the juice to go into it. Um, to get over it. Sure. If we go into the Qs, we look at the correlation, uh, it's 16, it's 13.9 going into 60. Uh, that is pretty anemic. Uh, that's going to have a hard time. 13.9 is good for the first hour, but in the Qs, you're going to get the biggest volume, really the first hour and the last hour. Uh, intraday here, uh, if that also drops off, then that's going to be a little trouble in paradise for the Qs. You know, we, we just pulled up the high flyers, and we know those high flyers are still the high flyers. You know? Yes, they sure are um, today. So the real question is going to be, do they give it up? Now, Microsoft already did give it up. So Microsoft, we'll see. As did Amazon somewhat. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because that's right. Even though it hit a high, it was down 17 bucks. Well, it was still up, but it was off $17 of the high. Right. Yeah. You know. So the all the big dogs are going to be fighting each other for, uh, <laughs> you know, Market, market supremacy. Market, yeah, market cap, man. I'm telling you, man. It's just pretty amazing. Um, it will be interesting to see if somebody else comes in and tries at least to get Whole Foods, just even yes. if it's Walmart as a blocker. Yeah. So we're saying all the locations are so perfect for Amazon where, you know, they're in upscale neighborhoods. Their prime membership is targeted towards, you know, higher net exactly. income right. households. Right. Um, it's just a perfect fit, and I'm sure Amazon it is. knows that. And so, and so, picture, you know, just as Tommy's saying, folks, with data, uh, you know, it's known where all the whole full stores are. You take yeah. that zip code, they match it with their prime zip codes of who they are, and say, oh, here we go, here's the fold. And then on top of that, Whole Foods has a gross margin of 34%. That's okay. unheard of in the grocery business, sure. okay? Yeah. So Amazon's looking, they'll crush that down to, 8% well, some well, sure. number, okay? Sure. That's their business, right? Bottom line, what does it do? You know, right off the bat, you know, gets, gets them hey, more business. everyone's going to want Whole food steaks delivered to their door, oh, man. I mean... That's a no-brainer. Exactly. Right. And, and you know, it's, it's changing. What I didn't know is that if you're out in the Seattle area, I'm sure some of you Tigers and Tigers already know this, they have the 
their test store is yeah, Amazon, Am Go, Amazon Go. Yeah. So Amazon Go has no clerks. Right. You know, you yeah. you, you go in. You're a prime number though, right? I um, believe you're a prime member? No? I, I think that's how, yes, because yeah. it has to be on your phone. Right. That as you're going by, everything clicks in. Yep. Okay, you walk you in, you click out, in. You just you know you have it, then you, you walk it. out of the store and it charges you. Right? And it gets, the, and it gets yeah. delivered to your house. Oh, okay, it gets delivered. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, so they set up a store that is, is there, but you don't have to take the bundles. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Hey, we'll see where it goes. Stay right there, man, Mr. Oh, actually, Steve Rhodes is doing Basil Show, he folks. He sure is. You, you stay it. right there, then we'll go to swim lessons. Uh, Steve will be back. Dave, I'll be back. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Wow! Go get him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.